Okay, I want to um, kind of show you what you need to do for your analysis for the project here. So I have some sample data based off of um, a survey I gave students. And so you can see I asked a question of um, how often do you have access to reliable internet? Um, rate your level of confidence of how likely you're going to pass the class and your stress level. And so what we have here and what you have in your data are two groups. And so my research questions or question was, does access to internet affect students' grades and stress levels? So I'm showing you here two examples, one with a, a um, qualitative data or categorical data, right? Here are my two groups. People have access to internet uh, every or almost every time. There are 14 people. And then group two are people who have access to internet occasionally, sometimes or never, and those 12 out of this group here. So those are my two groups, like you have your two groups, and yours will be different, but you have two groups. And then for those two groups, there's a response variable. Here I'm doing two examples. I have the confidence level about passing, that would be categorical, likely, very unlikely, um, or not sure, um, not sure, very unlikely. So those would be my two groups that I had, are two uh, the uh, categories for the two groups for response variables. The other one is uh, stress level. That's if you're doing quantitative. If you guys have a quantitative number, then you have a quantitative value here. And we do different analysis. So you have to organize your data so that you have your two groups and then you have your response variables. Again, I have two different examples here, a categorical and a quantitative. And so for the first group, again, those who have access to internet and those who don't, right? I had 12 out of 14 out of this group, proportion, um, or, or confident or very likely, right? Out of the group who has access to internet, there's 14 of them. And out of them, 12 out of 14 are likely or very likely to pass the class. Their confidence level, 12 out of 14. And at a group two, six out of 12 are likely or very likely to pass the class according to their confidence level. And that's what I highlighted in red. And so I'm matching that up to the groups. I have to calculate what proportion of the groups feel they're likely or very likely to pass. And then I'm gonna compare them, right? I'm gonna check to see, is there a difference between those two groups? Did having access to Wi-Fi affect their confidence? The other group, if you're doing quantitative, is stress levels. So I have the stress levels, and then you have to match up the stress levels here, right? You match up the stress levels with their group. And so you have, uh, again, group one has access to internet every or almost every night in blue here. And then I grab the quantitative value, and here's the list of values. There's 14 values here of their stress levels. And you find the mean and standard deviation using stat, crunch, or order stat. And I did the same thing here with group two. You have uh, group two is, again, those who have access to in internet occasionally, sometimes, or never. And then I got their numbers, right? I matched up their numbers with that. And so now I have this list here. That list comes from, again, occasionally or sometimes there's a stress level. I have the list. There's 12 numbers. Find the mean and standard deviation. And so after you've organized your data, what you need to do is you do your analysis. You're going to, you're going to do a confidence interval, not either doing both a 95% confidence interval using this data, which you're estimating the difference between the groups. Is there a difference between these groups? Right? That's a conf No, sorry. What is the difference between the groups? Estimate the difference. In the confidence interval, you get a lower bound and upper bound. And then you also do a two sample hypothesis test. You will do a Z or proportion test if you have proportions. You will do a T test if you have quantitative, if you're using the means and standard deviations. And so here you're checking to see is there a difference between is there a difference between those groups? And so then this is the test you're running. You're running it at the alpha 0.05. You use this data here. You have this data. Your data is different, but this is the data you have to calculate your confidence interval and your, your uh, hypothesis test. And then of course, with the results, you will make a conclusion. You'll tell me what is the difference between the two groups, if there is, right? And then here, uh, how much is the difference? And then here is, your, is there a difference between the two groups, right? You make your conclusion. That's it.